If you're a yuppie who wants the C and B scene, you'd be hanging out in one of these artisanal coffee boutiques that have sprouted all over Singapore in the past two years. Micro Roaster Papa Paletta is one of the pioneers of the cafe business, and its owners went on to open Lois Hill's Toy and Chai Sing Huat Hardware Store, which is really a cafe. Also drawing in rave reviews is 40 Hands at Tiong Baru. We visit three such joints to find out what's so cool about them and why customers love them. Our first stop was a quaint vintage looking shop house in Kampong Baru. It all started when I was studying abroad in Australia. I was studying in Melbourne. I was doing my degree in economics and finance. And I sort of fell in love with the whole specialty coffee culture. It was when I was studying there and working part-time that I decided that I wanted to bring back the whole coffee culture to Singapore. Another such artisan coffee boutique was located in an unexpected place, starting out as a showroom and not a cafe. We started off here as like a showroom um, training, training ground and um, a, a discussion for new cafe owners who wanted to try out our beans to, uh, to use for the cafe as well as uh, machines. Uh, that is our main focus, in fact, actually. So um, now it became more like, um, through a mouth, you know, more uh, consumer coming from around, around here or maybe far away from here. While both Strangers Reunion and La Ristretto's were inspired by the coffee culture in Australia, Toby's Estate is already an established roaster in Sydney before it opened here in 2010. Primarily we use these two types of coffee available, uh, this Arabica and Robusta. Robusta is quite harsh and it's, uh, it, it's, it's got more bitterness to it. So yeah, that's why uh, a lot of the, the more traditional type of coffees you use Robusta, you put in a bit of sugar and, and, and margarine to bring out that harshness of the Robusta. With this coffee, with Arabica coffee, it's more of a refined taste, it's a, little bit, it's a lot sweeter. It's, uh, it's, like, it's more like wine, depending on the region, you end up with different flavor characteristics. The concept of local roasting has caught on in Singapore, with more cafes also doing their own roasting, including Strangers Reunion, which is a separate coffee roasting facility. So why roast them locally and not like import them? Okay, because if you understand specialty coffee, roasted coffee only lasts for about three to four weeks. So, and I believe that the coffee is best between the second and third week. And so if you import coffee, it usually will be outside that window. So we came to Singapore and we set up this roasting machine and, and this concept to maintain that standard of freshness and quality. To customers though, it's not just the taste that matters. I really like their coffee beans here and the uh, service is actually quite good. I like their coffee and I like the atmosphere. Plus I love that they allow us to just sit here and chill without chasing us away. We grew up in a rapidly industrialized, industrializing Singapore and now there's a, there's a desire to go back to what's you know, old school or charming or yeah, just has character and personality. It's a nice place and it's quiet and it's a good coffee. The owners tell us Singaporeans have their own distinct preferences. I guess the locals here would prefer coffees which have slightly more similarities to our local coffee, which would lean towards the slightly more bitter. Um, chocolatey and nutty flavours. I think generally in Singapore, milk-based drinks are very popular. Um, latte, cappuccino. Um, I think these are the two most popular drinks here. That's it. How does one tell a good brew? Okay, the aroma. You can see if you're having an espresso, you can see a nice dark caramelly crema, like with something like caramel, the thickness, the mouthfeel, how the viscosity, how it touches your tongue, if it feels nice and thick. And um, the aftertaste as well. If you get a nice, pleasant aftertaste, you know that you know everything's been taken care of. In our next clip, we take a blast to the past with simple 90 cent coffee at some traditional kopitiams.